the Red Hat X podcast series discussing topics around application modernization, cloud native development, securing workloads in the cloud, and partnering with Red Hat. Welcome to the Red Hat X podcast series. My name is Brian. Joining me today is Jen Guile, Senior Marketing and Alliances Program Manager at Nginx. Today, we'll hear how Red Hat and Nginx solutions provide secure, scalable, and supported application delivery, no matter where your organization is on the journey from monolithic to microservices. Jen, welcome to the Red Hat X podcast series. Thank you, Brian. Great to be here. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Really appreciate your time. We're going we're gonna to talk about some fun stuff today. But first of all, tell us about Nginx and how you're positioned in the market right now. Yeah, absolutely. Nginx started as an open source project, and we're still really well known for that technology, which powers over 400 million websites. Nginx evolved to become a multi-purpose solution, and we now offer a suite of technologies for developing and delivering modern applications. Together, our data plane and control plane technologies give you powerful yet lightweight solutions for application delivery, API management, microservices, security, and more. So some people may know that last year, Nginx was acquired by F5, and we're now a business unit within the company. I was with F5 prior to the acquisition, and what I really love about working in Nginx is there's still that exciting startup vibe and dedication to the community, Mm. and we also get the benefit of additional resources and technologies that come with being part of F5. Thanks for sharing that. What are some of the trends impacting application delivery? Yeah, I love to talk about trends. And before we do that, we should also look a little bit about the past. Historically, apps were these self-contained things where all the components were wrapped up in one app. For example, that could be a shopping app that includes the catalog, search results, shopping cart, etc. all together. So these are monolithic apps and they're hard to maintain and update and they can become unmanageable monolithic monsters. Digital native organizations solved this problem with microservices architecture, which lets you pull each of these components apart into their own apps. Lots of organizations are still delivering monolithic apps, and the trends with app delivery relate to these architectures. We're a member of the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, which recently released their 2019 survey results. I think the data is really fascinating. It shows that the move from monolithic apps to microservices is accelerating quickly. Nice. This includes increased automation and shorter release cycles, and far more organizations using Kubernetes in production, not just in testing or proof of concept or development. Containers are key in modern app delivery, and there are really big opportunities to get ahead of competitors if you're taking advantage of these newer technologies. But of course, there are also a lot of pitfalls. According to the survey, organizations using containers are dealing with familiar issues that come with newer technologies, like security and complexity, But the top reported issue was actually cultural challenges in dev teams. My background is in learning and organizational development. So honestly, this finding didn't come as a big surprise. When your organization is going through a lot of change, as many are in their transitions to microservices, but also in adopting agile and DevOps practices, you're just going to have a lot of conflict. Mm. There are plenty of philosophies on how to improve team dynamics, but the most successful organizations are using a combination of tactics. That's usually going to include some change management and employee development, but especially in a tech company, that's almost definitely going to include a technology component. Organizations are looking for solutions that make things easier for their teams to work efficiently and harmoniously. At Nginx, our design philosophy prioritizes solving these various app delivery issues, not just those key important areas of security and complexity, but also in empowering teams to be more collaborative and to move with speed. You solve these problems and you can be very successful in app delivery. Plus, you'll have a great place to work. Nice. Well, this is an interesting and an exciting journey going from monolithic to microservices. Uh, and I know that Nginx is doing some stuff to help organizations do that. How is Nginx helping organizations to deliver legacy apps? Yeah, there are a lot of organizations, particularly in the government, healthcare, and finance industries that are still delivering those legacy apps. And that's okay. These apps aren't going away anytime soon. But it's important to be aware that they often have issues with security and compliance. So that's where Red Hat Enterprise Linux and Nginx Plus come together. RHEL is popular in these industries for the security, simplicity, and support. You add Nginx Plus for RHEL, and you get a software load balancer, web server, API gateway, and so much more. So, you know, going back to where you have risk around security and compliance with monolithic apps, yeah, yeah, this is an area that Nginx Plus could be a game changer. 
We offer proactive vulnerability patching, which is going to help protect you from bugs looking to exploit web servers. Mm -hmm. You might remember Heartbleed that happened, what, a year or two ago? Yeah. And so that's the kind of thing that we can help with. You know, you can extract out authentication or SSL. And so when you do that from the monolithic apps, you're letting Nginx Plus handle it consistently and reliably rather than these big, heavy apps. You know, you want the app to be focusing on its job, right? Mm -hmm. Like whether that's a, an online store or whatever it might be, not about the security. Yeah. And so a lot of our customers are also looking for compliance with the Federal Information Processing Standard or FIPS, which we support as well. You know, you asked, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a long answer. In short, you know, together with RHEL and Nginx Plus, you can deliver those legacy apps successfully and securely until you're ready to retire them or transform them. Perfect. What's the next step in the app journey? So the next step is not straight from monolithic to microservices, but it's a hybrid in between those two. Even with the increase in containers being used in production, we still see most organizations are in this space where they have both types of apps. You know, you need for your traffic to be able to move seamlessly between your apps, no matter whether they're monolithic or modern. You don't want the customer to get a, a weird experience based on what type of architecture you have. Mm -hmm. In the Red Hat world, we're talking about people using RHEL for those legacy apps and venturing into Kubernetes with OpenShift. So how do you get that traffic from your monolithic apps on RHEL to your modern apps in OpenShift yeah. and back. So we've been hearing from a lot of customers that they want to have us address this. And while you can certainly use the default router, which comes with OpenShift, you can also now add our new Nginx ingress operator for OpenShift. And so what does that do? Well, Nginx is the most widely deployed ingress solution for Kubernetes on the planet. We build a fully supported ingress controller with enterprise-grade features that enable far more than just traffic management for your containers. In practical terms, what that means is your dev team can use our operator to prevent bad code from getting into production and gain better visibility into app functionality and performance, which ultimately, how important is that, right? Yeah. So you're helping maximize these different environments, and it's going to let you transition away from monolithic to microservices when you're ready. How is Nginx enabling automation? So as I mentioned earlier, the use of automation is trending up. Mm -hmm. It's what's enabling organizations to have weekly or even daily app release cycles, yeah. which is just crazy fast, right? For sure. When we introduced the Nginx Controller 3.x series in January, we baked in the ability to automate your Nginx environment using RESTful configuration API. So RESTful APIs are what enable real-time data flow between different systems. It's like a translator. And this means DevOps teams can manage their workflows without having to connect CICD and automation tools separately to each Nginx Plus instance. So, you know, for those bigger shops that have a lot of instances, just kind of like imagine how much work that's taken away. Yeah. Where this starts <laughs> to become powerful is when you pair our API with popular automation tools, enabling developers to automate the toil using their favorite tools. When it comes to automating configuration management, app deployment, and resource provisioning, the tool of choice for many is probably not a surprise. It's Ansible. Mm -hmm. You know, with that in mind, we made the choice. We prioritized Ansible as our very first integration for this 3.x series of controller. We just released a certified Ansible collection that enables you to add Nginx controller to your regular workflows. You can check it out today. It's already out there. Very exciting. So I know some of the stuff is new, but I'm assuming that people are kind of saying, hey, we, we want this. We're excited about this. What are you hearing? Anything? Anything right now from customers? Yeah, lots of excitement. You know, there are a lot of Ansible users out there, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of Nginx users out there. And we want to show them that this is a way that you can kind of bring them together with our collection. Your developers can do everything from automating ephemeral API token generation mm -hmm. to managing certificate life cycles, um, configuration of controller objects. And so, Business value-wise, what this means is with controller in place, you can start to reduce your app deployment times. You know, we was talking nice. at the beginning about weekly and daily. Yeah. Well, what we're doing is we're shaving it off from months to minutes with controller, wow. which is just amazing. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, very exciting stuff going on. Jen, thanks so much for sharing this. I really appreciate it. How, how can we learn more about Nginx and what you're doing right now? Yeah, this has been great. Thank you so much for having me on the show definitely check out nginx.com.
We're publishing some great technical blogs on how to use and get the most from our Ansible collection, OpenShift Operator, and Nginx Plus for RHEL. And we're also planning some joint webinars and workshops with Red Hat later in the year. So stay tuned for lots of opportunities to get familiar with the products. Very cool. Thank you so much, Jen, for sharing all this information. Again, wonderful and exciting and appreciate you taking the time to join us today. Brian, great to be here. Thanks for having me. Jen Guile, Senior Marketing and Alliances Program Manager at Nginx. My name is Brian. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Red Hat X podcast series. Have an absolutely glorious day. 